It's amazing. Yeah, he did. And it, lo it looks legit, what, 10 too. foot long? It's massive. It has the veins on there. This has got to go. Hey, this is a belts only version, you know. <laughs> you are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host. Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Thank you guys for tuning into the Cigar Guys podcast. We are here in a new location. This is Hefe Cigar Lounge in New Smyrna Beach. I'm here with Zach. Thank you for coming, Zach. Thank you really for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. And we are here with our special guests, Sergio and James from Hefe Cigars. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Go. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you for having us. So we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, the lounge by Hefe Cigars. We have had this brand on our podcast before. Uh, but we do have some updates about the cigars, so we'll just kick it off and start with the cigar that we're smoking, which is the Hefe Number no. Six. Uh, so you want to go ahead, Sergio, and tell us about the cigar? Go for it. Yep. So the, our Number no. Six is our newest one to the line. It's uh, San Juan size. It's uh, Sumatra, all new wrong filler and binder. Okay. And you can only find these here at the lounge. Uh, did you say it was a Connecticut wrapper? No, it's a Sumatra. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was very good and uh, nice size too. Uh, very interesting size. Not a popular Thank size, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a fun size to smoke. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good like size too to only have at the lounge. You know where it's like we're near the beach. Um, you just want to sit down. You want to relax a little bit. It's a good size, good length. You know, get away from the kids, from the family. You leave them <laughs> at the beach. Come to Hefe. You know. Hey, babe, I can't leave. I, I look the Salomon. <laughs> it's the FA number six. It's uh, six inches. So, uh, <laughs> this is six? Yeah, probably this is like little, nine, I think. Probably a little bigger, <laughs> honestly, yeah. But, uh, okay, so uh, we haven't met. This is our first time meeting James, so good to meet you. Tell me a little bit about uh, your part in Hefe Cigars. For sure. Uh, nice to meet you guys as well. Uh, my part here is. Uh, Really just food and beverage. So the line's been going, what, five, six years now? Hefe Act itself? Yeah, well, almost, well, four, not, yeah, oh, four, four years. Four, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah, four going on five years. Um, so they kind of ventured up, Scott No Cigars. We've been doing hospitality for God knows how long. Um, so kind of ventured up and uh, just, just best of both worlds, start a lounge here, take care of food and beverage. We're also the second lounge, second or third lounge in the state, I think, that's serving food as well. So we're doing food here. I'm kind of taking care of food and beverage. Uh, Scott and Sergio are all the whole cigar thing, but uh, you'll see Sergio and myself here probably all six days out of the week. So we're okay. here, run the lounge, um, and uh, you know, make sure you have the best of both worlds for, for everything. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, food at a cigar lounge, especially in Florida, you hear that, you're like, all right, what's going on here? Yeah, it's definitely gotta check it out. Yeah, it's great. Uh, the chef that made the menu graduated from the Culinary Institute of America, so we have a vast menu. It's like tapas around the world style, it's really great. Uh, we're just starting out with like black bean soup, charcuterie boards. Uh, we have some sliders on there. Great Cuban sandwich. Everything is uh, it, it's fresh, never frozen. We have a truck that comes in three times a week, so we're trying to keep the food as fresh as possible. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So the food here is great, uh, and the atmosphere for sure. I've heard good things about the Cuban sandwich. So yeah, Scott raves about the Cuban sandwich for sure. Yeah, during open hours, I'm definitely gonna come and uh, get one of those and try it out. Yeah. But also, uh, this cigar is. Pretty good. You like it? I like this. Yeah, right. it's really early, but this might be my new favorite. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay yeah. tuned. But yeah, it's really good. I like it. So, uh, when did you guys officially open the lounge? Officially opened last Friday. Okay. We had our first soft opening. We had about a hundred people here. Yeah, had a big, big opening for sure. Revolution Bourbon Society came and kind of brought what 50, 60, yeah. 70 people. Oh, here. okay, yeah, uh, yeah, and it was it was great. Fortunately, I was out of town, but uh, the event looked like it went really well. We've been selling cigars the past few months, but liquor fully as of last Friday. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So, well, what did you say was Volusia County? Uh, Volusia Bourbon Society. 
Okay. Yeah. Is, are they going to be like a regular? That's the goal for sure. Just getting different people, uh, you know, different cigar guys to do cut and lights, um, different bourbon societies, things like that. We got, we're talking to some te- tequila people now that are going to come in. So uh, okay. just try to get new people in here all the time is really the goal. For get, sure. Get, yeah. Uh, and speaking of cutting lights, uh, by the time you're watching this, we will have had our first cut and light here at Hefe Cigar Lounge with the base of cigar. And I will say props to my man Sergio because he, they've only been open, you know, a week or two and he's been selling them like crazy. I mean, you're, you're gonna, he's been pushing boxes and everything like that. So this is an official retailer of the base of cigar. So definitely, I mean, check these guys out. The beautiful lounge, beautiful lounge, uh, very unique, very cozy um not yeah. like super modern we've talked about this before where like some lounges might come off as like too modern yeah, but it feels like you're like, like a jail you know it's all great <laughs> <laughs> this is like cozy like what you envision a cigar lounge to be like the leather chairs you know like especially you know the chairs you guys are sitting in those are some nice chairs uh but yeah definitely you know come check these guys out it's right by the beach in new smyrna yeah right on flagler you can't miss it i mean and yeah, like Alex said, it's real cozy, but I love the vibe you get off of it where if you want to relax, you come inside, you sit down, have a drink, maybe have some apps. Um, and then if you kind of want a little bit more lively, you could go outside, you know, people watch, hang out with people, you know, with random people. And they have a great patio out front, out back. Um, I mean, it's it's the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? You could relax or you could, you know, go bar hop a little bit, drink a little bit, you know. It's and the people here, customers here are amazing. Um, yeah, of course, you know. Sergio it's definitely a great group so. to hang around with. I mean, uh, we met Sergio pretty much when we started the base of cigar line. Sergio is like our first friend in the industry, like literally our first friend. So it's actually kind of crazy to see like where he's yeah. at now. You know where you guys are at. I think it's awesome. Um, but great cigars too. We had uh, Scott on before. Um, at that point, I believe we only had four. Of your jefes. So now we have the five and the six, yes. which yes. is pretty crazy. So, I mean, how have you liked this whole adventure, you know, since you and Scott basically started the line? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Like, it's it's what I do. I mean, since the day we met, what was I doing? It's yeah, I mean, yeah. You've, been, you've been hustling for sure. <laughs> since we met, I mean, I see you everywhere. Yeah. For sure. It's just, this is it. This is what our guys are going to do, and it ain't going to stop. You know. So are you now um, basically going to be running the lounge per se? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you got, I mean, you've got more people on the team now. You've got people doing cutting lights for you. So this yeah. is kind of like your your baby now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be here, like you said, six days out of the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, well, seven this week. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to drag you out of bed and you know, no. smoke a cigar. <laughs> You're acting like you wouldn't be here anyway, right? True. <laughs> That's what the air mattress is back there, where you can sleep yeah. overnight. Huh? And we also have um, golf carts here as well. So while you're on, people are on the beach and they want a cigar or a Cuban sandwich or something, they call us up and we'll take it to them. We'll yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. We have a little cigar driver car. So we got like a little baby humidor. I think we're getting we're gonna yeah. put in there. Yeah, I drive up and down the beach and kind of sell cigars and some apps that people call up, which is uh, it's pretty cool, a little different. So you have the ice cream cart for the ice cream truck for all the kids, and then following behind for the adults exactly. yeah. is the cigar, food, truck. That that's, that's smart. I mean, you guys definitely took advantage of like, hey, we're right here on the beach, you know, cigar yeah. Uber, why not? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, shoot, like New Smyrna Beach is our regular beach, right? This is a beach that we go to. We've been coming here for years. So it's like, how many times have we come here just hanging out and we run out of cigars or we run out of food to cook, you know, and then we're like, all right, can we just leave? And everyone else wants to stay. Yeah. Or like Mark doesn't bring a cigar and then we have to give him one. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) So we got got to a point because, you know, I mean, out. Listen, I, I can't shame on Mark because I'm this guy too. So <laughs> we got to a point where Alex or Alex and Jared are, will bring a lot of extra cigars just for me and Mark. Uh, Albanians, man. But now, <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, now you don't even have to worry about it. Right, now right, call up yeah. Sergio. Be like, hey, <laughs> send me that golf cart. That's send right. me a Cuban, you know. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you sell Cubans? No, a Cuban Stay sandwich. With <laughs> with this, this guy. I, I, was okay. trying, I was trying to get him. Get the Cubans on the DL. Moment. <laughs> I was trying to have a gotcha yeah. moment. That's a uh, human sandwich. That's the underground. You got to dig in the sand a little bit to go find them. 
No, that's the boat that comes from across the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So um, yeah, I'm I'm loving the cigar. So Thank you. I'm Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's actually yeah, it's great. I mean, even the first light, just the first two puffs, yeah. it tasted fantastic. You know, it's sometimes you gotta mild. work into a cigar. Yeah, it is pretty mild. Yeah, yeah but it's smooth. It's it's exactly. But it has some so spice too. So it's not like you know just a mild cigar. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's got some. It's good got the sp- flavor profiles behind it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 kind of like a basic. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is they've been selling better than the headface have, you know? <laughs> oh, Hold on, let me bring up the numbers real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. after, after. We'll I think there's a reason why Alex separated us so far. You know? <laughs> He's trying to cause some drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, I was trying to make sure they're comfortable, you know, like sitting next to each other and all that, you know. It's your first <laughs> time, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we had to uh, choose between this one and uh, the Maduro wrap, I think, right? I think Sergio Scott ended up going with uh, with the Sumatra for this one. It's been selling great. Oh, yeah, the number six, yeah. yeah. We do have two more, working on two more. Uh, supposed to be getting some samples in. Uh, sweet cigar infused. Whoa. Yeah. That's it's just a, a sweet, dang. it's a hit, man. Sweet cigars is a hit. Yeah. So out here it is, you know? I'm pretty sure they're hit everywhere. That but makes here, sense too, yeah. It's a big hit. So we're working on that one, and I got something else coming, but that's under the wraps. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the next podcast. So yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Can't talk about that too much, you know. <laughs> this camera's are here. All right. Now, <laughs> so now the cameras are off. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. <laughs> keep recording. Keep recording. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were talking about this before. Um, like, so the sweet cigars are selling big, the flavored cigars and all that. And you're not really even pushing them. People just come in and be like, hey, what do you got that's, yeah. you know, on the sweeter side? All day. Yeah. It's, it's, I didn't know it was that big of a hit. So. I, didn't know, I didn't know so much. I had never smoked uh, a flavored cigar until, like, last month when these guys tricked me into smoking one. The you true know? story. Yeah. Yeah. And we were, we were, <laughs> we were at the cigar lounge and, uh. And I think Alex just hands me a stick, and he's like, oh, here you go. We got some of these in the mail, you know, just like for the cigar guys, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. We go over there. I'm sitting down working on my laptop, and I cut it. I light it up, and I put it in my mouth, and I'm like, is this a sweet tip? Because it looked like a Connecticut, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking it's just a Connecticut sweet tip. It's pretty common. I've smoked one before. Not my, you know, favorite, but whatever. And I kept smoking it. I kept getting this flavor. I'm like, what is this? And Alex is recording me. Right, he's like, oh, I gotta send him a video. I gotta make sure I got the evidence yeah. that he was smoking one for the first time. So now I smoked. Yes, I don't even know what it was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Something. But yeah, I smoked my first flavored cigar, infused cigar. What was it, vanilla or something? Dude, I have no idea. I, I had that know. taste in my mouth for a week. I st- I quit smoking for a week <laughs> just because. Actually, I smoked a Padron right after to get the flavor out. It didn't work, so then I stopped smoking for a week just because Jesus. of this. Damn, yeah. God. You can't, you can't just know it. You can't judge your own boys, man. <laughs> but when we get our, our samples in, I'll probably put the base up band on them. And hand them <laughs> That's not, man. That's messed up. <laughs> well, then when they stop selling, it's your fault. So it's like, going to be like, hey, bro, this base tastes a little weird. You mind smoking it this whole box? Oh, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> bro, it's sabotage. It's not real boys, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right so besides hefe uh tell me one of your like go-to sticks that you would smoke whether you're at a lounge or something like that what's another stick that you would smoke usually my go-to's are uh drew estate under crowns oh, okay yeah. good providers, you know i don't know i think drew estate makes a great line uh do you go for like the connecticut or the maduro the maduro or? yeah mainly maduros okay yeah i like the more full body Full body, full strength, full flavor. Yeah. You know. What about you? Uh, man, I'm super new in the whole cigar thing. I've been oh, okay. at it for like a year. Uh, just really got into it like past three months, and Sergio's been like the cigar wizard walking me through the humor or teaching me everything. Um, but the Padron 4000, that's the one we have uh, That's the one we have here? Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been smoking the hell out of it. Man. Yeah, that's, that's like my good. go-to. And I think last week uh, we smoked those Ligas at, uh, at Corona. It was amazing, too. I forgot which one it was, but... Uh, I think the fifty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fifty two. Yeah, oh, much, much stronger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are definitely on the stronger side. Oh yeah, it was great. They're great They're smoke. Great. Uh, yeah, between those two, have been like my go to slightly besides yeah. the hefe, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, 
Dude, so I, I can't. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. This is, is pretty good. Is this your first smoke of the day? It is, yeah. Okay, all right. It right. is. What are you trying to say about that? No, no, no. Because <laughs> sometimes he'll randomly, he's like, he comes out and smokes like three cigars, four cigars a day. So I want so, to see if the flavor, yeah, you know, if this is like or... authentic to my palate. Like this yeah, is yeah. like actually, I didn't smoke all weekend, so this is like the first really? cigar in three days. Oh, yeah. yeah. So nice. I'm getting all the flavor on there. That's what's up. Yeah. I had some coffee too, so you know. Yeah, it's perfect. And oh, now you just ruined it. No, you drank the coffee. It t- uh, that's yeah. what it tastes. I mean, technically, uh, also, we are drinking Blanton's, courtesy of James. Really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for that. Definitely a great sure. pick. Uh, you guys got some Blanton's Old Fashions, a little bougie. I but like it. Bougie, I like it. For sure. Can't go wrong with the needs, though, boys. Hopefully the, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, hopefully the uh, whiskey purists aren't watching. Because they'll get upset. <laughs> yeah. Not good in the comments section. Well, I'll tell you what. My, I, next, my next drink, though, you mind putting some, like, Coca-Cola in there? Or, like, yeah, I'm more of a Diet Coke kind of guy. I'm like, <laughs> I gotcha. Well, I'll tell you what. Like, sometimes you just got to have, like, an old-fashioned with Buffalo Trace or something like that. Some just a little. You don't want to do, like, house yeah. whiskey or, you know. You're not making an old-fashioned from hell the next day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, plastic bottles. You, know, you can't be doing all that. No the plastic bottles here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no fun. Was it? Yeah. $4 whiskey from the shitty liquor store down the street. No way bueno. So two, um, full liquor here as well, which is a great thing. I mean, you got a cigar lounge, full liquor is definitely yeah. the way to go, full especially now. Um, you're able to bring more people in that way too. If they don't smoke cigars, they can still oh, have yeah. liquor. Yeah. Um, we got people that come in that just want coffee. Yeah. And don't you have, smoke cigars. They just want coffee because they, yeah. the environment here, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. We got them knocking on the door right at 10 a.m. We thought it was a little too soon to open, but I mean... Yeah. Sunday we were it was insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sunday we had a hell of a crowd. Yeah, um, people coming as early. They stayed as late. We got an insane pop at midnight. Yeah, I mean as early as we opened the doors, as late as we shut up, people were coming in. So it's it's been a great soft opening. Yeah, I mean I'm sure too. Like once summer hits, I mean people on vacation. What else is there to do besides send the kids out to the beach? You know, have mom watch them. You know, dad comes over, smokes a cigar, gets a little yeah. coffee. Which I'm grateful you have. You know, full espresso machine. Yeah. It's like, I mean, what do you guys not have? Let's go Let's go with there. What do you guys not have? That's a great question. Yeah, that's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They, they got everything, all right? So make sure to check them out. <laughs> we don't have Jared. That is true. He is here. <laughs> Jared is here somewhere. I'm here. Jer- Jared's feeling a little in the weather. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> He's a little upset. But... Can you laugh? <laughs> it's all right keep smoking that cigar i'll help it up it does yeah cigar a little bit of whiskey numbs the throat you know yeah you're good. already starting to sound a little better <laughs> no but i mean even just having a full bar here like uh the other night you know jared and i kind of just walked around we went out to eat you know just to check out the area and um there's really not too play not too many places to go to you know to actually like sit down you know yeah. Other places are, you know, real heavy with music. You know, you can't really relax in there. Some places, like, service a little bit, you know, slower. So it's like, like, this is a great medium. You well, it's, you know, more out. like, I guess, that dive bar kind of feeling. Yeah. Or, or maybe, like, yeah. dive bar or just beach bar. You know, it's going to be busy. It's going to be fast-paced. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not the service, but. And then, uh, you know, you come here. This is a nice place to maybe relax after the beach. Have a cigar. You know, you're a little tired. Get in the chair and maybe fall asleep. Yeah. Maybe fireplace. maybe turn on this fireplace once a year in Florida. You know? <laughs> yeah. Literally, literally. Yeah. But no, I mean, up and down the beach is. Uh, I mean, Daytona State's like three miles from here, so it's really college sure. county up and down. So the bars are uh, they kind of cater to that. So it is nice having a little more of a I mean, offered a mature environment, uh, some good food, some great drinks, uh, and we have over a hundred different liquors here, uh, from scotches, bourbons, whiskeys, tequilas. Uh, if you're not a cigar smoker, we definitely want to hit on having some some good booze as well. Yeah. And two, we kind of talked about the seating. I mean, you have inside, you got a bunch of chairs. But two, you got a front patio with a bunch of chairs. You also got the back patio with even more chairs. Yeah. What's your total seating? Do you know? Uh, we're 112, I think. No, I think 120. 120? Something yeah. around that, yeah. yeah. Well over 100. Yeah, yeah that's wow. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Inside's definitely more loungy. Uh, the, the, the back's a great vibe, too, but up front, it gets a little, a little rowdy out front, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the people watching, yeah. like you were saying earlier. More of the uh, beach bar. You still got, yeah, like, the beach bar sure. feel. It's, happy. it's fun to cater, like, to both feelings. Yeah, the back is, like, it seems like a private patio. Yeah, you know? that's true. 
We have the big TV out there, some speakers, but it's yeah. away from all the crazy stuff. Yeah, for sure. And then I think you have a bar outside too, right? Not yet. Not yet. That's, in, that's, the, that's yeah. in the works. In the works, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely in time for summer. Yeah. I guess the low is we'll have the frozen ice. We have the frozen Ooh. ice, uh, like Fat Tuesday's maker machine thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, man. which would be super cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, we're not catering towards like the you know real cigar guys and things like that. Um, we're gonna have some great booze, and especially people that don't really know cigars just want to come in. The younger clientele, like I said, it's a big college town um, to come and still get some some good booze as well. I mean, that's even great. Some I mean, fun drinks. Yeah, I mean, even like we noticed that a lot more college kids are starting to get into cigars, into whiskeys, into old fashioned stuff like For that. Sure. So it's like. Like, I remember I was going to a college bar, and everyone's getting pictures of this blue drink, whatever, and we're over there asking the bartender, like, can you make it old-fashioned? <laughs> you <Yeah>. know? <laughs> and they, they, like, they that was a weird. mistake, actually, because uh, it wasn't good. It was not good. No, it was <laughs> terrible. But nowadays, now, I mean, you could go to a college bar and order an old-fashioned, you know, because cause these college kids are starting to, you know, yeah. develop that flavor profile and get into cigars and stuff. So even though, you know, yeah, you're near a college town, this is a great place <laughs> To get them in and get you know throw the palate for yeah sure. these younger cigar smokers that want to experience whiskeys want to experience cigars uh, want to experience a hefe you know number six I think you should definitely sell them on uh, <laughs> 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 yeah this is fan- I'm with Alex this is fantastic thank you thank, yeah, thank you. you our house blends also are fantastic I don't know if you had any of those yet so I was gonna bring that up yeah thank you um, you have house blends too yes from what I saw it looks like you got a a bunch of different ones. So talk, yeah. T- yeah, talk a little bit about that. So we have um, we have the Connecticut Connecticut Maduro and Sumatra, all from Nicaragua as well. But they're twelve dollars a stick, but they're not your normal size. You know, they're like double toros and torpedoes. It's uh, they're just just great, like fantastic. fantastic. Then we have fantastic. another section of house blends, and that's just that's all Dominican blend. Okay. Oh, okay. So we wanted to you know support Dominican and then our farm as well. Yeah, so. I think I think Jared got some house plants, right? That one time, yeah, maybe the yeah. Maduro, yeah, yeah, he likes the Maduro. I'm, I'm, pretty sure I tried everything, so. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, so yeah, you, I, you, I took one of his Maduros. You, you gave know, me one. I'm looking. You gave me one a while ago, and uh, Mark took it, so I still haven't had one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that is. I don't know if you smoked it or if it's in your humidor or what, but I'm gonna need that back. But yeah, uh, house plants have been great. They've been running off the shelf. The house Mahique is probably like our number one sold. Uh, well, was, yeah, besides our besides our happy run off the shelf okay so uh what's the blend on the the house bahike is that going to be more of a maduro or is that going to be it's a maduro okay it's definitely maduro it's filler binders on the wrong one very nice yeah. yeah and it's yeah the bahike size just it's a great stick and, and those are the cigars for our members here for the lockers we give them the mix of the nicaraguan house blends and dominican house blends okay yeah so you have lockers yes. um what comes with the membership besides like just a locker? So it, you get a we support our support supply a bottle every month, six cigars, and you get ten percent off of the cigar room. Dang. Yeah. yeah I'll probably, take yeah. I'll take three. <laughs> <laughs> we only got one left. Oh man, <laughs> cigar somewhere. guy's locker. <laughs> yeah, the uh, lockers flew off too, but it's a great deal. You get a bottle, and like I said, six sticks and ten percent off. You just can't beat it. Yeah. You can't beat it. Do they get to choose a bottle? Or you guys just so we're going. We're switching up every month. This this month we did uh, Mitchell's bourbon. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna. I think we're doing like a, a bourbon, uh, tequila, and a rum. We're gonna keep doing that kind of cycle. That rotation. So yeah, just yeah, switch yeah. it up. Yeah, something yeah. different. Okay. What's the uh, price point on the membership? That's one fifty a month. Okay. Yeah. But for what you're getting. Oh, you yeah. can't beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't beat it. Yeah. No, you and a buddy going seventy five, seventy five, and yeah, it just makes sense. You know? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. You get your name on there. And the best of all, you become a Hefe family member. Oh, so that. that's what I, I need that. to do to that's become a Hefe member. <laughs> 150 a month. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we become brothers. <laughs> How many lockers do you have currently? 22. 22. Do you plan on trying to squeeze more in? I yes. mean, because you said. We only have, yeah, we only have like one or two left. Um, but we are, we're going to have to get a, another set. Because we've only been open for a week. I was going to say, I mean, you're sold out. And we're sold out. Only being open a week. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so we're definitely going to invest in more. Yeah, I think posts, like when summer's kind of come to a close, uh, get the other set of lockers going in. Okay. Very nice. 
He's got a good ash on there, too. Yeah, they do. You ain't got an ash here, have you? No. Yeah, I was going to try to keep it, but I didn't want to drop it on myself. I don't want to risk so, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to embarrass myself. I'm trying to beat Alex over here. I know he's the ash yeah. king. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I won that competition. <laughs> you cheated. I cheated. He's got a nice big ash. If you could zoom in over there. We're not going to zoom in, but you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big, you don't even have to zoom in. That's right. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so we did a long ash competition for one of our first episodes. And... Zach showed up with a paper clip inside of his cigar. <laughs> Damn and we straight. Were, and we were all Damn wondering straight. we were all wondering why his ash was so long. And that was why. That is so funny. I've heard of that, so that actually works. Yeah, it does. It, it, it does, but when I got about halfway, you could see like points where it should have fell. It should have fell. Yeah. So like it started like flaking in the middle, and then you could kind of see the paper clip a little bit. So I had to like <laughs> Hold it a certain way so no one would see it, you know. Um, and then finally I got to the point where it was the end of the paperclip and I ashed it and then it just all fell apart. Yeah. <laughs> well, so apparently that came from, uh, like, back when you could still smoke in court, lawyers would put paper clips in their cigars. And then while they're talking to the jury, they'd have, like, you know, a four or five inch ash on their cigar. Nice. And the only thing the jury could focus on is like the cigar <laughs> while he's moving around and talking. Yeah, if the and ash was going to fall. So they so. kind of use that as a tactic to like, you know, keep the jury distracted so they're not really hearing like what is actually going on and then they end up just remembering, oh, well that guy, you know, I don't know, he was talking about something and he had a nice ash. So <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'll go his way. Yeah, that's <laughs> too funny. funny. Yeah, that's good. Which I think we should bring that back. Smoking in courtrooms <laughs> restaurants <laughs> i mean this is this is the closest you're gonna get for uh you know smoking in a restaurant i know yeah. they got the yeah, food definitely definitely yeah and, and you know we were born and raised in florida right so we always under the, the assumption that you can't serve food uh inside like a cigar lounge and you know you guys found a way around it you know and like but yeah, we went, great is having like the separated kitchen exactly place, yeah yeah, yeah. So having the separated kitchen, you're allowed to do that. Uh, but then we went to... But let's well, not tell nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on air, so, you know. <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, like, I went to Michigan, right? And then Mark went over there to uh, visit one of our cigar shops that we're in, uh, Don Cristo's. And over there, it's common to have a cigar shop with a restaurant. Really? Like, yeah, it's, it's actually more uncommon to have a cigar shop and not serve food. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And, Florida and, law is yeah, strange stuff. Well, I apparently the diff, like the differentiation behind it, I guess, or whatever, is uh, uh, they differentiate tobacco or cigarette tobacco and then cigar tobacco. So cigar tobacco is a premium tobacco, and they actually have laws to differentiate it. So like That's in those, interesting. yeah, in those cigar shops, it's illegal to smoke cigarettes. If someone's smoking a cigarette, and then you know. The uh, health department comes in; they could shut the place down. No kidding. Yeah, but if you're smoking cigars, it's fine. Strange, but yeah, I mean, it works for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah, it's and that lounge in particular too is you know very nice, very like high class. So they have like steak dinners and everything like that. No kidding. Yeah, but it's, it's just super yeah, cool. it's you know I wish the laws are more like that here, so you, yeah. you, know, you see more places like that. Because I mean, like you said, this is one of three well, yeah, that we know about. Three, yeah. Yeah. And it's rough because if I'm here watching a game three or four hours, I don't want a full meal, but I'd like some, just something simple, man, for sure. You oh, know? exactly. So I think that's yeah. kind of what we're, that's why we went like the small tapas around the world. You get some different flavors and maybe and Sergio are here watching the game. You have five, six hours while he loses $300. <laughs> 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 well, want we, something small to eat on. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about this too. It's like if, let's say Super Bowl, for example, you don't want to have to leave during the game no, to get sure. some food. So you can stay here for, you know, the however long the game is. It's an all-day affair, really. Yeah. yeah, I know. Like, so you can stay here for four or five hours. Definitely. Get your lunch or your dinner or whatever. Yeah. Not have to leave and worry about missing the game or whatever. Or missing the uh, the commercials. Because that's the reason why everyone actually watches the Super Bowl anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. This year, yeah. We're not betting on the Super Bowl this time, right? <laughs> We're betting on the commercials. We're betting on the commercials. <laughs> I'm betting on if Taylor Swift and uh, what Kelsey get... 
proposed to or whatever. I think you can take that bet too, which is you can. Insane. Yeah, I they think, added it. I see, yeah, um, I think so. Are but you then if you, if, you, <laughs> if you take the bet that you know, oh, that he's going to propose, you also got to take the bet that the Chiefs are going to win. That's Ooh. true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. you can't propose on a loss. Yeah. 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 No, she'll propose to him, so he still won. That I believe. That I believe. <laughs> God. Yeah, which decision makes them the most money? That's what they're going to do. Yeah. Exactly. Who so, knows? For all, for all we know, they could be broken up, and the NFL is just like, nah, like you guys are staying together while we're still in season. Yeah. <laughs> it's all rigged. We know this already. Well, yeah. apparently, Taylor Swift is working on releasing a new album. So it would make sense if they broke up in time for her to have a new hit single in that album. Because, you know. All our music is basically based off what you know breakups, breakups and, and stuff. Yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So I would bet. I don't want to ask. You weren't good enough to win <laughs> the, the Super Bowl. <laughs> you weren't good enough to win the Super Bowl. You weren't good enough for my heart. You know. Dang. Dang. Yeah, dude. Sounds like a hit to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking the Chiefs. Okay? <laughs> the Chiefs. We'll go in half on half. On All right. <laughs> I'll give you guys a scoop because I'll be in Kansas when the uh, Super Bowl is going. So oh, that'll be nuts. That'll be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, we'll smoke a cigar for it. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna smoke one there. <laughs> we'll see what happens because by the time you guys are watching this, the Super Bowl is gonna be over. So yeah, yeah, he's well, our well, yeah, yeah. Comment. Well, that's true. Yeah, and make fun of us for how wrong we are, <laughs> assuming we are wrong. Hopefully, we're right with the Chiefs because. Playoffs did me and Sergio pretty bad on the betting, so yeah. we need to make the comeback. Yeah, I just I just don't want to Taylor Swift Super Bowl. And we best about she won money here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like the other day, uh, you know, we were playing some poker with Mark and our buddy Tyler, and we didn't have chips or anything, so we just played with cigars. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I mean, that's better because. Yeah, exactly. You know, Everyone like money. Right. That's like the best currency, honestly. <laughs> I honestly started. Only hiring contractors if they accept payment in cigars. <laughs> Strange way to do it, but uh, why? 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 Wait, hold on, why? You want to give up all your cigars? Well, if they pay you in cigars, it's okay. because you can you can inflate the value of cigars more than you can inflate the dollar. Yeah, this base is worth twenty seven dollars. You know exactly. <laughs> now he's thinking. Now he's exactly. Thinking. So it's uh, you know if it, if he charged me a thousand dollars. You know, I give him five hundred dollars for the cigars, and tell him that it's worth more. It's genius stuff. Are you writing this down? Yeah, They're someone's like, recording this, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are recording, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> no I'm kidding. We've had yeah. a few. Yeah, we've had a few uh, incidents where uh, mo- most of the time it's because the, uh, the the sound isn't working. We figured out a way to prevent that from happening. Don't worry. But yeah, I mean, we have the cameras, so it's easy to notice that the camera's not working. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, and then, because, like, you could hear the audio and everything like that in the headphones, and then it wouldn't, you know, come out in the final product. Yeah. I blame Jared for that, but he also fixed it, so it's okay. <laughs> Are you asked already? That was a good one, dude. I don't want to ask myself. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> Yeah, Sergio saw me dirty his floor. Yeah, he, got like, like, <laughs> he got pissed off. He's like, you know what? Let me ash it. I would say towards the middle, it's got a little more body now. So it's kind of upped it a little bit. Yeah. A little more spice. But the flavor is relatively consistent. It's got a little, um, a little like oak and a little nuttiness to it. Really good flavor. I'm really enjoying it. Good. You know, that's one thing I have not got to yet is notes. Oh, really? I can't figure it out. I try. I retro hell. I just can't do it. For some people, it's like some people can get it better than others. Just you know, like they have a better palate or whatever. Yeah. Like I met some people that uh, started smoking cigars last week, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it tastes like uh, you know some cinnamon and uh, eucalyptus and stuff like that." And okay. you're like, "The heck! This took me like three, four years <laughs> to be able to be like, oh yeah, I can taste like some wood." Yeah. A cigar. Yeah. Oh, it tastes tobacco. It tastes tobacco in there. You know? <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so you're at this stage, which is like me, the fir- first three years of smoking cigars, it was like, I just know I like it. Yeah. It tastes good. I can't really like pinpoint flavor notes, but 
I can tell you that it tastes really good. Yeah. It was a really enjoyable smoke, you know, stuff like that. And we're always right about it, too. When we know it's good, it's good. Well, exactly, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah. you can't argue with that. I yeah. enjoy it. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes you just got to ask the blender and be like, hey, what notes should I pick up on this? <laughs> like, I love it. I want this cigar, but... Cigar viewers, they just go on Google before, and they're like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to be tasting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, cocoa and uh, espresso. Hazelnut. Throw the hazelnut in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just go with the safe bets. I taste cedar. Yeah, cedar. Yeah, I know. You got called out for that. I got called out because I said, like, I always taste cedar in cigars, which is true. But, I mean, you got to think about, too, like, most of the time they are stored in cedar humidors or cedar shelves. So, cedar boxes. So, a lot of times, you know, you get that flavor on cigars, the cedar flavor. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. But then, like, you know, like you said, you were smoking Liga T52. Much stronger cigar with more rich flavors. Yeah, way stronger. It might be harder to pick up that cedar flavor because you're getting all that yeah. espresso and cocoa, the the more rich yeah. flavor notes. A lot going, a lot more going on the darker cigars for sure. Yeah. I do have a question. You know, I know you guys. Here we go. Started selling cigars like you know prior to your official opening, but how's the feedback been? I mean, were people like, "This is what we needed. This is what we were missing." You a lot know, of that. All the time. A lot of that for sure. Yeah. They love having the full liquor. Um, but yeah, we definitely got some good feedback on just something on Flagler. You know, something something different on Flagler. There's uh, nothing out here in, by the beach. So yeah. they love it. They're so happy we're here. Yeah. Even even the snowbirds that come out here oh my God. four months a year love that we're here. Yeah. The repeat clientele is insane just for the people that come for two weeks. They come work on our condo, whatever the case is, the snowbirds. These guys are out here every night like, like clockwork. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, talk about the big cigar that attracts people. That, you know, true, big cigar. true. Sergio, <laughs> <laughs> that's not really all you. I wasn't here when the big cigar. The big guy, cigar. I... Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'll, so, I'll go into it. I'll, go this... <laughs> I'll describe it for you. All right. So, so describe the cigar now. Okay, so it's from yeah, here. I'm, 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 I'm gonna describe your big cigar, all right? <laughs> it's from here. Zach, hold out your left hand. It's from here to here. <laughs> And it's is a giant. Is my hand still in frame? Yeah, it's handled yeah, yeah, right here yeah, in New Sorrento yeah. Beach. It's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's, a, it's literally a giant Hefe cigar, and then it shoots smoke out. Like a, It's like a fog machine, basically, and it shoots smoke out the front. It's actually pretty it cool. It illuminates red, too, where the ash is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So. It's the Hefe number two. No, number one. Number one. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. It's, it, so we gave our... We had somebody build it, right? He's never smoked a cigar before. Knows nothing about him. We gave him our number one, our Connecticut Torpedo, and he studied it. He cut it, Amazing he job. lit it, he let it smoke, he smoked it, he studied the ash, and he just made the made a cigar out of it. Like, it's crazy. But it's amazing. Yeah, he did. And it, lo- it looks legit, what, 10 too. foot long, it's massive. It has the veins on there. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. <laughs> Got a real, real vein. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this has got to go. Hey, this is a adults only version, you know. <laughs> we, we made it. We made it to that time. <laughs> is it accurate to size too? Like, is it a one for one scale? Like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit smaller. Oh. It's a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> hey. so they like to call it Hefe. That's why I call them the Hefe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the thumbnail. Just <laughs> I will tell you what, too. I mean, um, back to the whole, like, you guys are getting good feedback and stuff. The last time we were here, um, one of our buddies from high school showed up. And we were talking to him. He's like, yeah, I just we were walking by. And we saw on Google there was a cigar lounge here. And, you know, we're like, oh, that has to be new. We never heard of it. So they stopped by, came in. And, you know, he doesn't really smoke cigars like that. But he's like, why not? You know, this is really cool for Flagler to have a cigar bar. You know, basically ride a flag or right by the water. So, I mean, it, you're going to definitely get that younger crowd in. I mean, we've been here a couple of times. And, like, even the, you know, the high schooler kids are walking by like, oh, man, I wish I could smoke a cigar right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, guys, you got to wait till you're 21. But, yeah. Be a nice yeah. graduation outing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Or even, like, wed- wedding after parties. We actually had one two weeks ago before I left. Uh, prior to soft opening, yeah, uh, someone came in, just got married. And she just wanted uh, smoke cigar with her dad, and they all came in. It was a pretty cool crowd. Yeah, 
What about the groom? Was he down for cigars or? Yeah, groom was down for cigars. He came uh, with like right, Matt Lane. Which is kind yeah. Of weird, yeah, I've had a couple people in here already. Uh, grooms getting cigars for their people. Yeah, yeah. I know. I remember. I don't know. Probably a couple months ago, before we officially opened, I got a call at like three o'clock in the morning. I ain't, I ain't say no names, Mark. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that story. <laughs> that's the same night you got those flavor cigars. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so Mark, so Mark's at a wedding, right? He's drinking, he's having good. He's drinking, he's having a good time, whatever. At, on New Smyrna, so they're all going out, you know, and he really wants a cigar. Three o'clock in the morning comes, you know, whatever. Doesn't have it. Doesn't have a cigar. Still drinking. Calls up Sergio. You didn't answer, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah thank God you didn't answer. Yeah. <laughs> Sergio doesn't answer. And Mark's pissed, and he texts us. He's like, "I just want a cigar right now." Whatever. Buys flavored cigars from somewhere. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. No. Or so some game with cigars. Someone brought like a bag of those. Oh, the flavored the cigars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, Mark gave out all our bases. <laughs> and basically trade away our bases for the flavored cigars. <laughs> That's how you know he was blacked out. Horrible trade. Horrible trade. <laughs> this was not the art of the deal, my friend. This was not the art of the deal. That's too funny. 3 a.m. Having a hell of a night. I'm just disappointed that you weren't open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had one or two of those nights. We're walking out of here. Yeah. Anyway, so they caught Mark sleeping on the porch, knocking on the door, waiting for them to be open, so... <laughs> For a cigar. Would have flavored in his mouth. <laughs> he just had to have something. <laughs> he needed his fixing. That's so funny. <laughs> but you got and on weekends, uh, you guys are open till two, which is the latest you can be open. Right? One, one. Okay, until one. one uh, for now, I think you know when summer, yeah, summer comes, comes. Yeah, with how busy it is, by next week you'll probably you know. Yeah. I mean, we stayed open until 2 this past Saturday just because I was like, dude, we want to stop serving drinks. People keep coming in. It was insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So depending on how it is, dude, we love it. Like, we don't, we honestly don't mind leaving early. Like, the extra hour for us is, is it's fun. Like, it's not really work. Like, I yeah. love going behind the bar slinging drinks. Uh, it was cutting cigars, cutting up with everybody. So it's really not work for us, man. We love yeah. being here. We honestly. We're definitely a good team. Yeah. The team's amazing. Um, yeah. Him and I here, we, we love it, dude. So it's, don't mind staying open the extra hour. People are here for sure. Yeah, you guys do got a good team. I mean, last time we were here, you had, besides you, I think there was three other people here on a Friday, Saturday night, whatever it was. Yeah, that was after our soft opening. Yeah, that was right after. Yeah, they just came that night. They came the day after. after. Yeah, so I'm upset I missed that day. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, no, my, my pops was here. Scott was here. Uh, Luli, which is our sales rep, and she also comes, she's tobacconist as well and comes here on the weekends, I think, to help yeah. serve. The team's really solid. Yeah, for sure. So... What are you looking at, Mark? 42. Okay. Final thoughts about this great cigar lounge. I mean, we, we haven't, I feel like we've said it all. Great place. Probably like the place to go for cigars in this area. I mean, you know, besides like Daytona, which Daytona is a 30 minute drive from here, realistically. Yeah. So, I mean, this is like the spot to be. No, we get a lot of people from Daytona that come here. Orlando, everywhere. They they come here. So, uh, this past weekend, I don't know how many people that from Orlando was here. You know, they saw us on Google. People talk about us. Because, you know, I go to Corona a lot. You know, yeah. I go to all the other cigar lounges in Orlando. But they love it here. Yeah, we talked about get this. away from home, but right. they're still close to home. We talked about this on a uh, recent episode. I mean... If you're a cigar smoker or even if you're in the industry, if you own a lounge, you still find yourself going to different lounges because, you know, you don't go to the same restaurant every day to eat. So you have your home lounge maybe, but you still go to other lounges, yeah. change it up a little bit, especially when you have a place like this, it looks really nice and, you know, you got everything. It's like, you know, another spot to go to come here on the weekend, you know, or whatever if you're in the area. So, I mean, it's definitely, you know. One of the places to come, you know, if yeah. you're looking for to add more lounges to your roster, let's say. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with going to different lounges. No. I mean, that that's kind of become more common, especially with a lot more lounges opening up in general. I mean, Orlando, too, is becoming yeah. more like Tampa when it comes to all these lounges that are opening up. I mean, Tampa's insane with how many cigar lounges they have. Yeah. But 
I'm, you know, it's great that you guys have jumped on the new Smyrna beach market. You know, kind of set yourselves up to be the spot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's definitely a market to be in. I think, you know, there's not enough cigar places here in New Smyrna. Or not a lot of cigar places that you would want to go to. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like realistically, too, that's within like a good distance. Exactly. I mean, this is yeah. walking distance from the beach. Yeah. It's two and you, walks. And yeah, we're right here. you don't have yeah. to walk. They got the freaking golf cart. <laughs> yeah. We got the golf cart. <laughs> the cigar driver. Yeah, but no, it's nice. I mean, the next thing, we were walking up and down the strip trying to figure out where you can get a cigar. It's like the smoke shop has like a little tiny humidor. And that's, yeah. that's like about it, you know. So it is nice to have, like I said, just some more professional, mature catered environment. Yeah, they, they make a good point though. Because a lot of beach towns too, they have like a smoke shop where you get your cigars. But that's it. Yeah. yeah. And, and even then, it's like, can you really trust them on how they keep their cigars? You know, they're yeah. not keeping them perfectly. Oh, my God. It's like time. going to a liquor store and grabbing a cigar. You never know what the hell you're getting. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you see their humidifier has been empty for years. Or it's years. a humidor it's, that's like this big. <clears throat> yeah, it's on plug. Yeah, literally. You know? yeah. literally. But, no, so yeah. I think the opportunity has presented itself and it just it all worked out and worked out great. Yeah. Official grand opening, um, second weekend in March, right? Okay. That's what we're aiming for. Yeah. So we're shooting for the 8th, 9th, and 10th of March, which is the end of bike week is uh, what we're shooting for. Uh, hopefully it pops off, but um, at the moment that's that's what's kind of set in stone for us. So. Yeah. So at the end of bike week, you said? The end of bike, yeah. So the last three days of bike week is okay. uh, kind of what fell into place to do. Uh, I think our hand rollers, our hand rollers actually coming yeah. in from Nicaragua. Was coming I mean, that's a that's a good move. Great. Like, yeah. get all the bikers in here. I mean, the place is going to be packed. Oh, my God. New Smyrna yeah. and Daytona, it's all going to be packed. So people will start to find out. Yeah, we'll find out. lounge here. Yeah, live music. I mean, I think the hand roller coming in. Is, it's, yeah, it's we'll have a roller awesome. here. Yeah. Z. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He'll be yeah. rolling cigars. Yeah, so we've had Z on the podcast, too. He's ba- he's basically the go to guy in Orlando for yeah. having hand rolled cigars at an event. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, and uh, he's you, awesome. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. You have some of his stuff here too. Yeah. Yeah, I carry his line here. Yeah. I carry his line. I carry other lines that he blends. So he's got some good stuff. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Hopefully, so, it takes sense. Uh, the date sticks. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, we pop it off that. Yeah, and we'll, I mean, we'll definitely post too, you know, on the cigar guys on Besa just to promote it a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, let, yeah, let our viewers know, you know. Yeah, so if you're watching this right now, check out Hefe's Instagrams or our Instagrams. There'll probably be a post on there by then or coming up soon, you know, with the official date. Um, you know, we'll be here pretty regularly. We'll, we'll have a cut and light, and then we'll probably be doing events and more cut and lights, you know, throughout. Yeah. The time, you know, we can't just do one. No. no, yeah, no, no. no. It's going to be all the time. Yeah. But it's definitely, I mean, if you're in the area or if you plan on visiting the area, um, if it's, you know, within a pretty good driving distance, or if it's not, if you're in Miami, just come check it out, honestly. Come check it out. <laughs> you know? But the drive. New, this is the place to go in New Smyrna if you're a cigar smoker or even if you want some craft cocktails. They got some really interesting craft cocktails. I was looking at your menu. Pretty interesting stuff. Food. The whole shebang, they got everything here. So definitely come check out Hefe Cigar Lounge in New Smyrna Beach. And before we wrap it up, I just want to say thank you guys for having us. Thank you. Thank you for coming on and sharing your story. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. And now, a final word from our sponsors. Crafted for the newcomer and the connoisseur, the Besa embodies excellence at every level. Each draw, a journey through rich, nuanced flavors and a smooth, unforgettable finish. Besa Cigar, where tradition meets perfection.